Hi everyone, welcome to the PrestaShop 1.7 tutorial video series. Today I'm going to show you how to configure your order settings. The order settings are divided into two tabs. The first one includes all the parameters related to the orders, while the second lets you customise the order statuses. And they can both be found within the Shop Parameters menu. The settings for the Orders Preferences page are pretty important as they apply to the orders that your customers make, but also to the other details such as gifting. The first option, Enable Final Summary. As required in some European countries, you might have to display an order summary just before the order confirmation button. And Enable Guest Checkout. This allows you um, to let non-registered visitors place orders without having to create an account. You can also disable reordering options. If this is set to yes, customers will not be able to reorder something in one click by going to their order history. You can set a minimum purchase total required in order to validate an order. If you do not want to set a minimum amount, just enter zero in the field. Recalculating shipping costs after order addition, this is new in 1.7, and this will automatically recalculate the shipping costs when you have edited an order. It also makes it possible to change a carrier for an order that hasn't been confirmed yet, and thus updating the shipping costs. Delayed shipping. If you, if you enable the allow ordering out of stock on products option in the product settings page, you can allow ordered items to be dispatched as they become available, in as many shipments as needed, depending on how your team sees fit. They also have the terms of service on off option. And finally in this section, Page for the terms and conditions. Your shop's terms and conditions of use are to be stored in the static pages within design and pages. Next, gifting option. Offer gift wrapping. It's always a nice feature for people who want to send gifts through your shop. You can set a gift wrapping price and gift wrapping tax. And you can add more taxes in the taxes page in the international menu. And you can also offer your clients recycled packaging. The second tab is the statuses tab. In this page you can discover the different statuses of your order. Colours and icons are here to make you understand if there's an issue with an order or not. The columns are three important settings that you can decide to use in your own way. The first one should the customer receive an email when the order gets this status? The delivery status? And does this status allow the customer to download and view a PDF version of the order's invoice? And finally, the name of the email template. You can edit the email template language by language in the translation page under the internationals menu. In the modified translation section of that page, you can choose an email template translation in the drop down menu, then click on the language code, code of the language in which you wish to edit these templates. There's also a little action icon which you can edit or delete. Creating a new order status. You can create a new order status with the add new order status button at the top, which is here. When the creation form opens, you can edit the status name, you can add a new icon, and you can choose a colour. Have a look at the statuses to know which is the default colour usages. And also, here are your options related to that order status. So the first one, consider the associated order as validated. If enabled, this status marks all associated orders as paid and puts them in the same status. Allow a customer to download and view PDF versions of the invoice. If disabled, you will have to send the customer that invoice yourself. Hide this state in all customer orders. This enables you to create internal statuses for you and your team. Customers will never see these in their order status page. Send an email to a customer when his or her order status has changed. When enabled, a drop-down menu appears to let you choose which email template to use. A 
attach invoice PDF to email. You can send an email to the customer with the invoice in PDF format attached. Attach a delivery slip PDF to the email. You can send an email to the customer with the delivery slip in PDF format attached. Set the order as shipped. Be careful, once an order is set to shipped, it cannot be set back to the previous status. Set the order as paid. Same here, once an order is set to paid, it cannot be set back to the previous status. And finally, show delivery PDF. This displays the delivery PDF. If we return to the statuses, you can also create a new return status. As you can see, there are two fields, the status name, this is where you can set the desired status name, and the colour. It's, set its, it, well, it's to set its colour, obviously, and you can use the colour picker wheel here. And of course, do not forget to save your creation. Thanks for watching this PrestaShop 1.7 tutorial video and I'll see you for the next one.